Dr. Drew, what's your overall reaction that after 13 years, Brittany's father has now officially been suspended? Well, my initial reaction is, is about time, and I anticipate they will probably undo the conservatorship altogether. I think that's going to be the next step. The reality is the conservatorship in all likelihood saved her life. It was absolutely necessary at one time. It suggests she had very, very serious mental illness, and repeated mental health evaluations have confirmed that, but that doesn't necessarily mean somebody needs to be on a conservatorship indefinitely. She's able to work, she has her own money, she deserves a chance to be off conservatorship. You need to only walk across the street here and you can see people that need conservatorship way more than Britney Spears. So just put that in context. Was it time for this to end? And if so, why? It probably went on a lot longer than it should have. And imagine you're the father and you know your child has serious mental illness. Your anxiety is going to keep you in that. The mental health professionals have told you it saved her life. You can imagine you're going to want to hang on to that. The reality is that is not an objective perspective. He's too invested in this process. He's not looking at her as an autonomous an adult, which she, in spite of a mental illness, deserves a chance at autonomy for sure. Now, they can do it in such a way that they follow her very carefully. There can be checks and balances, psychiatric follow-up that she has to comply with, and the judge can watch her very carefully as she transitions into the world. There will be a transition that's put into place for Brittany before the conservatorship officially ends. Yes. What does that need to look like, and what does Brittany need in place to successfully move forward? None of us really know exactly what's going on with her. We don't know her. We, we're not involved in her care, right? But we do know that she was sick enough to need to be in the hospital for weeks and had serious enough mental illness to be put on a conservatorship, which is reserved for the more serious mental illnesses. Now, she's done been stable for a long time. The issue will be, does she remain stable when she goes out into the world? Can she come back for proper medication checks, follow up? Does she do what she's supposed to do? And I wonder what kind of psychotherapeutic or behavioral interventions they're gonna put in place as well that can help her uh, sort of identify and understand her illness so she's motivated to stay with her care. How would you set up a transition so that she doesn't spiral down a road? Clearly medication are an important part of the game here. I, I think, you know, one of the things I would do is set up a directive. I would say, Brittany, we got to sit down. You're, you're of sound mind right now, but you need to write in writing that you're going to allow me to intervene if you decompensate. I can put you in the hospital. I can give you medication even if you don't want it, if it's in your best interest, in the opinion of multiple physicians. And we're going to do this, and we're going to do it in a highly structured way, and I would watch her very, very, very carefully. That's the main thing. If Brittany had been engaged in a 12-step community, that's the best news of all, because that community will rally around her, watch her, help her, support her, educate her about her illness. So nothing, from my, opinion, from my standpoint, could be a better sign that her engaged with a community that she's highly connected with, like a mutual aid society. I just want my life back. Brittany's been silenced to speak out about anything that's really going on. What are your thoughts on the Netflix documentary claiming that her medication was increased when she was working? Were you surprised? Documentaries are not medical records, right? They're a point of view. They're trying to stir the audience. None of it surprises me, but when I look at the documentary, I all I see is that there's lots of missing information. We don't really know what was going on. You're, you're assuming there was some sort of nefarious intent, and the reality is, she had an excellent therapeutic team around her from the beginning. It's why she's alive, it's why she's been so stable, and decisions they were making were on her behalf. Now, the control of her life may run afoul of our sense of uh, a free society, and I understand that, and she deserves a chance to try, and if she decompensates, on her. There were nights where she was up and I had to stay up with her. She was taking Adderall. So there was some reporting of her taking Adderall and becoming quite manic on that, which people with bipolar disorder, that's taking stimulants is anathema. It's the worst thing they can do. The excessive use of stimulants can damage the brain, but not on a short-term basis. And untreated, burned out bipolar disorder can hurt how your brain develops and, and uh, ages. So it's not a healthy state to be in, that's for sure. But just a short-term decompensation doesn't really mean anything. You know, there are further allegations that a former manager was accused of crushing drugs and putting them in her food. He denied it, said she was drug tested and passed. Do you have any thoughts on that? I don't know the parameters of her conservatorship. They may have been within their right to slip medication to her. That may have been part of their obligation to keep her safe. Now, if they were giving, someone was giving her illicit drugs, doesn't that help you understand why Jamie Spears would be so anxious about the people that are around her and wanting to control that? That, that if I were the father, that would drive me to distraction constantly. So d don't mistake excessive use of medications like benzodiazepines, the reckless use of medications that can kill people 
with therapeutic medication for people with serious mental illness. Those are, those are not the same universes. Now, I understand that people are worried about Britney Spears, and they should be. Clearly, there are people that are giving her access to things that are not great for her. But this therapeutic team that you know got her the conservatorship, put her in the hospital, saved her life. Make no mistake about it. Has it gone too far? Probably. I am disturbed that the conservatorship team felt they had to essentially spy on her. But once again, we don't know the parameters of the conservatorship. They, they, they may have been charged with doing things like that, lest they incur liability if something bad happened to her. That might have been part of their responsibility. It seems ridiculous. It seems excessive. I, I don't like it, but we really don't know what their charge was at the time. I think these claims will result in an investigation, and I think they warrant an investigation because, as I've said, we don't know, uh, thus the, us, the public, looking from the outside in, the parameters of this conservatorship. If it didn't include doing things like such th that they had done that was excessive, that's a problem. Do you think Jamie could be in serious trouble, in your opinion? You gotta put yourself in Jamie Spears' shoes as a father who has been concerned about his daughter with a serious illness for many, many years. If you're the father and you think you've done what's right, you're probably willing to take those punches. If you've gotta sit up and take the punches on behalf of your child, you'll just do it. So if he's a good guy, which I suspect he is, again, she's done exceedingly well. The fact that she has been so stable, she hasn't been in the hospital, she's been able to work, she now has her own money. That speaks volumes about the, the efficacy of what her therapeutic team and this conservatorship has done. You know, the part we ought to all watch is what happens next. This may not go well. This, and it could even be of life-threatening proportions. She could lose her fortune. Everything could go bad. She deserves a chance to do that.